Okay, so that was the why. So here is the what. So I was like, what can I do? I'm gonna go look on an LABBA site, and I did. And um, I said, I'm gonna do a bikini competition. So the world thing, I'm not even sure exactly what it is. This is a learning process for me, and I'm still in the process of learning. So it's in uh, Grand Falls, May 14th, because that's what I wanted to do after my sister did one. Two years ago, I was like, that's so cool, I wanna do this. So I was like, you know what? I wanna to work towards a goal, and that's what I'm gonna do. Because if you're like, you know what? I'm gonna start eating good Monday, and then Friday comes, you're like, what am I doing this for? I'll start next Monday, and then you don't see any changes. So I was like, I need something to be held accountable for. So this is what I'm doing. So I started training on my own, and I found this site, Bender Fitness. I'll link her down in the links for you guys. Deadly workouts, so like 20 minute workouts, 30 minutes, depending on how many rounds you wanna do. It's pretty much body weight. You don't need any equipment. You could do it at home. You don't need any fancy gyms. It's absolutely free and her links are free. So I did, it's like a three month bikini prep thingy. I did it like in a month or less, less than that because it's like, you know, you add cardio. I just did her workouts and I felt so much stronger and I toned up more. I cleaned up my eating. I did about like 17, 50 calories a day uh, and I tracked it on my fitness pal. And like, you know, counting your calories really helps because like say if you put like you eyeball some ketchup, you eyeball some ranch, that adds up quick, all that eyeballing. Cause it's like 70 calories in a tablespoon. You don't realize until you start measuring how much extra crap you're actually taking in. And cutting out the crap really helps. Like you could eat. I put up a picture like a sweet potato, asparagus, and a steak for what's a Snickers bar. And it lasts a lot longer and it's a lot healthier and there's no sugar in it, like refined sugar. So those kind of clean things and it really makes you feel a lot better. I started drinking a shit ton of water a day. At least four liters is what I drink. And I was driving to work the other day. I looked in the mirror. I was like, I got no wrinkles. I know, I know. A 31 year old shouldn't have wrinkles, but you'd be surprised. I do. But they're gone a lot more now. So the water is helping too. So then a couple weeks ago, I talked to Steph Beck and uh, she's a trainer in St. John. She's awesome. And she got me on my macros. So that's uh, macronutrients. I'll talk about that a little bit more in another video because I talked to my friends about it and we're always like, what are you talking about again? <laughs> so it's just a different way to track your food and again my fitness pal is kind of what you use and you, you track on that. So it's carbs, protein, and fat. A certain amount of that every day. So that's what I do. And lift heavy. I lift really heavy weight and a lot of times a week and not that much cardio. And I'm not bulky. Everybody's like, don't lift weight, you'll get bulky. No, you won't, you won't. You'll just get healthier and you'll get thinner. So that is my what, that's what I'm doing. So officially today, actually two days ago, we're 11 weeks out. So excited. I've seen so many changes in my body like every day. So if you wanna do something, do it. Full steam ahead, hold yourself accountable and stick with it. Consistency is the only thing that works. You can't be binging. Cause if you cut yourself down 200 calories a day then on Friday you eat it all back. What was the sense all week? Right? So you just gotta want it and you gotta do it. Good night.